Hey guys, Robin Foxer back with another review video, this time of the OPRO KL52 Plus hunting outfit. I have reviewed this torch before, uh, but we're going to take an in-depth look at what comes in the box, along with testing this torch at night time, um, as many of you requested that you wanted to see what the capabilities were at night. I'm going to do that with the aid of some nifty little targets that have constructed. I've got my general fox target here, which you can see has got a couple of holes in it, but this time I've got some reflectors on the eyes, and I want to have a look through the scope at night time resting on top of the truck to see what the actual distance is and to see whether it lives up to the claimed distances of this. So according to this the white pill should be able to reach 400 yards, the red at 375, the green at 452. Uh, so we will see if that is the actual case. As you open up the convenient carry case you will find two 3000 milliamp batteries, your rat's tail switch and then three different LED pills, a green, a white and an infrared. The red pill typically comes pre-installed in the torch under which you have your handy hand strap. Then you have two mounts, a weaver style rail and a figure of eight clamp and then you come on to the actual battery charger itself under of which you will find your product warranty information card and then you will have your handy installation and a user manual guide. Underneath that you will find two packets of spare o-rings. Right, so we've had a little look in the box. One thing I want to mention before it gets dark and we see how far the beams can travel at night is talk a little bit about the construction of the torch itself. It's extremely well made, it's very solid. There is zero rattly bits, which means it's not gonna be making any noise when you're out and about. The button at the back is protected by the cap itself, of which unscrews silently. Uh, no squeaks, uh, rattles or grating. Oops there at all. Battery itself comes out um, seamlessly and, and, and it's a great fit inside. Um, it comes pre-lubed and pre-sealed of which of course there are spares in the box. One other thing to note is the quality of the actual pill itself, the actual light. Um, I don't know how easily you can see this but um, the major feature with this torch is that it, is, it has a very focusable beam. It comes down to an incredibly intense dot and there is very little light spill um, around the outside. There's very little halo which means you're not going to be lighting up everything um, around you which of course you don't want when you're out uh, hunting. So what we will do now is we will have a quick look at how easily it is to mount on top of the rifle before we have a look at just how far this thing can see at night time. For mounting purposes in this video we're not going to be using the weaver style rail because it's too close uh, to my turrets. We are going to be using the figure of eight clamp along with the rat's tail switch. Installing the rat's tail is easy enough to do. You simply turn the back of the torch anti-clockwise to remove the cap and screw on the rat's tail switch in place. One thing to note is that I would recommend you actually twist the body of the torch and not the tail itself because you don't want to be breaking wires and cables inside of which can happen. Mounting the torch itself, simply unwind the clamp just enough so you can get in the fat part of the torch and tighten up. Not too tight, uh, but certainly firm enough so it's not moving around all of the time and also just make sure that the torch is central. The actual rat's tail itself, just ensure that it is tight, again not over tight. The switch itself can be mounted to the rifle stock using the sticky back tape that comes pre supplied on the actual switch itself. Simply peel off the back and stick the switch to the side of the stock where your thumb will be. Once in position, simply depress the switch to illuminate your target. Changing the pill, easy enough to do. Select the colour you want. So we're going to change for the green. Unwind the head. screw down uh, the mid sheaf to expose the pill housing and unscrew anti-clockwise. Pop that bill, pill to one side, take out the desired colour, put that back in and screw down in reverse order. So you'll screw that clockwise
tighten that up and you've now got your green pill in. For the distance testing I've pre-selected an area on the farm with a dead straight road that I could measure so I knew how far the beam would actually travel. So starting off with the red beam fully illuminated. Now I can make out uh, reaction on the first post. I don't know if I can zoom in on that here. don't know if you can pick that out but I can see shine off that first target at 150 meters. If we tighten the beam up a little bit I can now start to see eye shine quite clearly at the 150. Yeah, that looks a incredibly foxy like actually, sorry, at the 220 yard marker. If I zoom in a bit here, I don't know how good this is going to come out on film, but we can definitely see the first target there at 150 and we can see eye shine on the target there at 220 with the red. All right, let's have a quick go with the green. Right, flicked over to the green. I'd say the green is more intense initially at close range. Let's zoom it in now, focus the beam. We can very clearly see the target there at 150 yards and we can definitely pick the eye shine out again at 220 uh, without too much trouble at all. In fact, that's a nice tight beam that. Once again, I will zoom in here. So there we can clearly see both targets lit up, but if I take that away, the eye shine from the target over there at 220. Those pair of eyes looking back at us there, that lights up really quite well indeed. Right, so I think we can safely say that if the green and the red are good at distance, the white one is also going to be good. Right, I'm on the roof of the truck mounted on the rifle scope. The only way I could get a scope view was to mount the night sight, turn off the infrared, so this is what a, the scope view looks like. So again 150 and 220, you can definitely ID stuff uh, at that distance no problem. You'll see I shine out way past that, so I definitely think the claims of distance are accurate. Uh, whether or not you could positively ID the quarry at that distance uh, probably remains to be seen. That can see a very, very powerful torch, that. Okay, just for fun now, I've pushed the, uh, the f both the targets back. The one with the three dots on it to the 220 marker, and the fox target, I've pushed it all the way back down the path um, to 380 yards. So I'm going to turn my head torch off. Let's have a look. Well, with the naked eye I can definitely illuminate that one and I can also see the eye shine on the fox target as well, 380 yards away. There you go, it's focused on that there at 220. If we move there, you, go, look, you can very clearly see the eye shine on the target way down there at 380. Look. You can see that illuminated, clear as day. So you're definitely going to get eye shine past 400 yards. So final thoughts on the KL52. Well, it's definitely a long range hunting light and the focusable beam uh, allows you to be able to concentrate um, quite nicely when the torch is mounted. When it's not mounted, it makes for a fantastic scanning torch. You know, you've got a nice wide arc and I think both the red and green pills um, are exceptional at picking out eye shine at distance and hopefully the video footage um, captured that. So yeah, worth a look I think. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did and you're stopping by for the first time and you want to, please consider subscribing. If not, take care, stay safe and as always, happy shooting. Thank you very much for watching. For more information please visit www.odepro.com.